So here we have the 2HP RND, RAND or random. Let's check out a bit of what's to come before we go through the features. So this 2HP RAND can be an internal clock generator and we actually get a clock out of the gate output with a rate control. If we flick this over to external, this automatically becomes a random gate. It's unsynced to the clock and this is the rate of that random gate. And gate length is varied, it's not just little triggers. So some interesting modulations you can have, you can mix this with clocks and use logic and get it back in time and do all sorts of other little tricks as well and there's a clock input for when that's set to external. We have a smooth output, and this is much like a triangle LFO, but it peaks and troughs at different points as it reaches different random values and smoothly glides over to the next. This is influenced by the rates, but because it's smooth, it's not something that feels like it's clocked or synced. Either the internal clock or the external clock control the quantized random, which is stepped sample and hold style random, and we've got a level control like the smooth to take this from 0 volts up to 10 volts. So you can scale that on the module. Random gate or clock generator, smooth random, stepped random in 2HP. Let's get into some patches. So this patch is just set up to demo the random. And as I said earlier, we have our clock, internal or external. This is either a clock out if it's the internal setting or a random gate out and the other functions, the quantized stepped random is then clocked externally. This clock is triggering the 2HP snare next to it. There's a video for the snare linked in the description. Simple snare sound. Bit of reverb in the background. Now the smooth output is this blue trace. And it's just kind of randomly, linearly going up and down, smooth, random. We could say, put this into decay. We can hear that open and close, longer, lasting noise on that snare, down to a tighter sound. Now the stepped random, the yellow trace, we can patch out into, say, the pitch. And we get level control from off to full range, 10 volts. And it's the same for the smooth output as well. Now the internal range is super wide of the clock this is. We might be hanging around a while for that. There we go, for that to do anything right up into audio rates. So just watch your ears. You can obviously use this clock not just for triggering sounds. Here I've got it clocking a sequencer as well. Some other drum sounds. Now if we set this to be external, this turns into a random gate. And the rate control is a probability. With pretty much no probability a gate will fire. To a very high probability and high rate of random gates. You can see gate length is different as well. This is really useful going into things like ADSRs or logic where something would be sustained dependent, not just triggered. But what we can do is now the quantized output is waiting on a clock to quantize its stepped moving random voltages. I've patched this random gate out into a mult, which is not only triggering the snare, I can also clock itself in this external mode and use the random gate to drive the stepped random. And you can see gates on the green trace, stepped random on the yellow. They're now all in sync. So that's just the basic features in a really basic patch. Let's push that into audio rates. There's some interesting things we can do and check out some other patches as well. So we can push the random or R&D, right up to audio rates. Now, if we were to just plug in 
to the clock into our mixer to record. Turn that up. There's certainly some lower bass tones that we can get out of that. Now we can patch the quantize random out upper audio rates as well for noise. So let's turn that up. And we get a digital style noise. But patching that out into a low pass gate you get quite a nice percussion sauce. Nice to mix in with snares and other percussion. Now another simple thing we can do with this audio rate is to say take a low pitch triangle wave and then take this square tone out to frequency modulate it. And by square tone, I simply mean the clock out. And these kind of overtones work great through low pass gates for percussion as well. There's just a couple of ways to use this at audio rate. So in this patch, I started exploring the smooth output, which is the trace you can see on the Mordex data, the blue line. And it's very close to a triangle LFO is this smooth random, but not entirely in that it's not just a cyclical repeatable predictable lfo let's speed it up and we'll see and we can see as this has sped up it's not kind of peaking or troughing at the same values it's moving smoothly to different random values producing this random stepped triangle like lfo now the smooth output is going out to modulate the start position of a sample on the qubit nebulae v2 the stepped output is modulating the size of this granular window moving around the sample so let's just listen for a minute it's created a really nice glitchy quite ambient kind of patch. So here's a super dirty, rather demented patch I was playing with, with the random. Now I'm clocking it, but I'm getting this random gate with varying gate lengths out of the module. That's been processed with some analog logic and VCA style logic in Anna and against the clock. And that's what's actually giving me the rhythm triggering these notes. The stepped random at the bottom of the screen is going to some quantizing and various versions of this quantizing is going out for pitch. I'm using that step quantized pitch to also modulate tonal controls and that's this demented sound. Drums as a simple backdrop. So in this patch, I'm using the internal clock to clock a sequencer that's going to play some drums. Which we'll come back to in a moment. I've got this droning bass sound and I'm going to modulate between a filter and a wave folder with the smooth output. Now before the wave hits that folder and filter on its shaping, I'm going to use a stepped modulation to change the wave shape as well. So we've got this really nice mix of both stepped and smooth modulation over this bass drone.
So thanks for watching this video on the RND Random from 2HP. Internal clock generator or externally clocked to externally clock the stepped random and then you get random gates. You always have a smooth output, level control, rate control or probability over the random gates. Really useful use of 2HP, which is probably the tagline for the whole 2HP range. Thanks for watching, hit like, subscribe, comment, support me on Patreon at the link in the description if you wish. If not, thanks for watching anyway. Cheers.